Bienvenidos a Intermediate Spanish and to this brief overview of the course's content and design. Spanish 202 is an important part of our department's ambassador model, a framework that was crafted under the guidance of Emeritus Professor George Holt. As you can see, there are four interlocking virtues in this model, scholarship, diplomat, global citizen, and engaged professional. The scholarship of interest in this course draws from the latest research in languages for the professions and specific purposes, as well as from literacy studies and motivational studies. The result is an innovative and integrative approach focused on your development as a future participant in the growing array of language professions. Regarding diplomacy, the study of underrepresented variants of Spanish language and cultures, as well as the appropriate grammar and vocabulary for a variety of both formal in informal contexts will help you communicate with increased proficiency and empathy. Global citizenship. This course uh, serves global citizenship by promoting a greater awareness of power and social justice issues inherent in Hispanic cultures. Right. Regarding the notion of an engaged professional, we will take a deep dive into the grammar and vocabulary of the workplace, focusing on the language and literacies of guidelines and conditions. Before proceeding into the course, it's important to point out the following. One, except for a couple of synchronous or real-time proficiency assessments, this course is delivered through a completely online asynchronous format. There may be supplemental synchronous sessions informed by student needs and interests, but these are strictly voluntary. If you Google recommendations regarding the quantity of time spent on coursework, obviously it's, it is greater for an online course than what's expected for traditional face-to-face -face instruction. Two to three hours per week uh, per credit hour is the formula. Spanish 202 is a three credit course, so roughly you should set aside at least six hours per week to complete course assignments. Finally, online learning, especially in an upper level course, requires self-determination and discipline. To test your online learning readiness, you're encouraged to consult SUNY's orientation to online learning at online.suny.edu forward slash assessment. Aside from the intro and conclusion week, Spanish 202 is organized around four thematic modules. Following are some of the major themes and big questions for each one. Module one. Vistas y viajes. This module expands much of what you've already learned in prior Spanish study to develop more lexically rich and grammatically accurate descriptions. Big questions. How do we use Spanish to describe ourselves, everyday things and experiences? How do we plan a trip to the Spanish speaking world? Module two, interpretaciones. Moving from description to interpreting meaning, module two focuses on related phrases and grammars, as well as basic cultural features of the Spanish speaking world. For example, building on your ability to describe the location, activities, and state of peoples and objects in this photo, you will read about the origins of the architectural motif depicted here. Here we'll introduce and practice some practical strategies for reading Spanish, which will lay the foundation for success in higher level more content-focused Spanish study. Big questions. What's in a photo or painting? How does it reflect its cultural context? Module three, historias. Historia in Spanish has two meanings, story and history. Focusing on popular tales from Hispanic America, you will critically examine the history of conquest and colonization uh, in light of the oral traditions of indigenous Americans and Afro-Latinos. Carefully analyzing the use of predator versus imperfect in these past tense narrations, you'll gain insights that will set the foundation for a more advanced levels of Spanish proficiency. Here pictured is the African Orisha Yamaya, whose legend is of vast importance in Caribbean cultures, particularly in Cuba. Big questions. Why do we tell stories? What insights about Hispanic American history uh, do stories tell of themselves? How does storytelling contribute to cultural continuity? Module four, Modernidad y Manuales. This module opens a diversity of perspectives on professional Spanish. 
you'll have the opportunity to tie in your major and career interests, focusing on how the subjunctive is used to navigate workplace-centered instructions and conditions. We'll also continue to study past tense aspect, uh, exploring the predicate perfect in a variety of text types, comparing past and present cultural products, practices, and perspectives in Spanish-speaking cultures. The use of the Spanish future and condition, conditional tenses, will and would, also figure prominently in this module theme and will round out your foundation in all time frames. Big questions. What is the sort of Spanish required for tomorrow's workforce? How have the products, practices, and perspectives of Spanish-speaking cultures changed in the age of globalization? Familiarize yourself with the course structure and expectations. In the steps outlined below, you'll learn more about how each module is organized and all of those links in the menu to the left. It's important to me they have all the information you need uh, for a great start. So please post any questions you may have to the corresponding thread in the forum.